Hey, I'm Jonas. In this video, I will guide you on how to farm gold on Sunset Cloister in Dragon Nest Sea. I will include timestamps so you can jump directly to different sections of the video. Now, without further ado, let's start. Okay, let's answer the first question. How do we farm gold in Sunset Cloister? There are three gold source in Sunset Cloister. The first source of gold is the Gold Goblin events that appears on Sunset Cloister stage with a low appearance chance. After defeating all the Gold Goblins, you'll receive an average of 2000 gold. If you want to increase the gold attainment amount, there are two things that might help you with it. The first one is to get the combined skill that increases the gold attainment amount by 5%. Check this video to learn how to get this combined skill. Links are provided in the video description below. The second one is the Abundance Talisman, from the Crystal Point Shop NPC located in this part of St. Haven. This talisman will increase your gold attainment amount by 15% as the base stat. But you can put this talisman in the 200 percentile talisman slot to increase the talisman stat gold attainment amount to 30%. Now, the second source of gold is the random sealed skill Jade that drops after defeating the stage boss in Sunset Cloister. For reference, this is the drop rate chance of sealed skill jade in Sunset Cloister, and please also take note that you may get one of these skill jade types. By the time this video was recorded, the selling price for these sealed skill jade in the trading house is this. Now, the last source of gold is the goddess's twilight box that drops after defeating the stage boss in Sunset Cloister. To open goddess's twilight box, you will need to get Sunset Cloister key, which you can purchase from the Priestess of Darkness NPC inside the Sunset Watchtower. You don't need the contents of the goddess's twilight box, so it's best just to sell the items you get from it, for 152 gold. For reference this is the drop rate chance table of goddess's twilight box in Sunset Cloister. Okay, let's now answer the next question, how do I enter Sunset Cloister? Sunset Cloister is located inside the Sunset Watchtower portal, located in this part of Red Lotus Palace Main Streets. Inside the Sunset Watchtower, you will see the entrance portal for Sunset Cloister. To enter Sunset Cloister, you will need an entry ticket called Sunset Cloister Map. Okay, so how do we get Sunset Cloister Map? The main source of Sunset Cloister Maps is by buying it in the Ladder Point Shop using Ladder Points. Each week, you can buy a total of 35 Sunset Cloister Maps from the Ladder Point Shop. Okay, so how do we get Ladder Points? The first way to get Ladder Point is by doing the World Daily Task, Play Ladder Match one time. You can get 100 Ladder Points daily just by playing one Ladder Match. Please take note that, you don't have to win the ladder match to be able to clear this task. To play ladder match, just press this sword icon on the bottom right corner on your screen, and press the request matching to find an opponent. Please also take note that ladder matchmaking availability is scheduled, please refer to this section to learn about the ladder match schedule. The second way to earn ladder points is through the ladder rank weekly reward. You'll receive a specific amount of ladder points based on your average score from playing 10 matches per week. Here's the amount of points awarded for each ladder rank bracket. Essentially, the higher the ladder rank, the greater the ladder point reward. Please also take note that the weekly ladder points will be rewarded every Saturday at 9am. Okay, is there another way to get Sunset Cloister Maps? The other way to get Sunset Cloister Maps is by buying a Cloister Map Bundle in the Trading House. Another way to obtain Sunset Cloister Maps, is by exchanging them using Sunset Cloister Map Fragments, which you can acquire from the Lost Hound event in Sunset Cloister. Before you go, please leave a like, share this video with your friends, and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the comment section below.